Welcome back everyone. iOS 14.4.2 just officially came out, so let's go take a look on the iPhone 7. Now what I'll tell you is for sure, this update isn't a crazy big future-proofed update, it doesn't bring any crazy features, but it does bring a security fix that you may be vulnerable for, so it may be worth for you to go and actually update your specific device. Now I would go ahead and show you a screenshot of it, I'm not really too sure where it's at, there we go. Now it was a little bit of a bigger update coming from my iPhone 7, because I was coming from a previous version, but as you can see, it really, you know, it's probably going to be around 100 megabytes. I think on my previous other iPhone, it was like 100 something megabytes. But this is what I'll tell you. This fixes a little bit of a WebKit issue that a lot of iPhones have had. So I would recommend updating just because of that. And that's really it. There's no other features as far as we can tell. You can see the release notes here. On my iPhone 7, it installed perfectly fine. There weren't any really big issues. So that's another pretty big plus point. And it downloaded pretty fast. So those are main issues why I would recommend updating, to be honest. Now we do have my other iPhone 7 that's running iOS 14.4.1. So we can go and do a little bit of a speed comparison between both versions. As you can see, it's a little bit of a different setup, but this is a quick little one. It's not a full. As you can see, all apps are cleared out. Phone calls 321. There we go. And again, 14.4.2 is on the left. 14.4.4 is on the, or 14.4.1 is on the right. App Store is 321. And the newer one seems to be faster. Scrolling through, you guys can see maybe the same thing. There's not really that big of a difference between the two as you guys can see. And I would probably say it's about the same. Hopping out of this one, let's go and do camera. 321. And there we go. Pretty much the same thing here. Hopping out of this one, let's do music. 321. There we go, pretty much the same thing for the most part. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and do one of these other ones. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. And about the same thing, I think this one, Netflix, three, two, one. And again, the newer one is the faster one here as well. Hopping out of this one, let's do Tumper on two, three, two, one. And there we go. I mean, this one is definitely seeming to be quite a bit faster than this one. This one is kind of a little bit slow, as you guys can see. I'm not really too sure what happened here. Maybe it's with this specific game, but 14.4.2 was far faster than 14.4.1 in this specific case, and there's really no competition here. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and do Twitter, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing, not a big difference on either or. Let's go and do Dropbox, three, two, one. Okay, I think this one was faster. And let's go and end it off with like Snapchat or something. I don't even have that. Let's go and do like Bofa, three, two, one. And for some reason, this app takes a super long time. I probably shouldn't have done this one. And there we go, pretty much the same thing. So that really pretty much covers up the speed comparison between the two. I think 14.4.2 is probably a little bit faster, to be honest, than 14.4.1. And that's the first time I saw it. Typically, the other iPhones were slower, to be honest. So to kind of sum up the video and to answer the question, I mean, should you go ahead and install iOS 14.4.2 on your iPhone 7? Well, this is what I'll tell you. I think this update is a super crucial update. It's very important. There's a lot of security fixes in this update, but there are no features. If you're trying to update to get the most amount of features possible, it's probably not going to come in this one, but there are a lot of security fixes as mentioned before. There was that WebKit issue, and there's probably some other security issues that Apple fixed. So if you want to be on the most secure version of software, obviously being on iOS you know, 14.4.2 and updating, it's going to be the smarter thing. On the flip side though, if you want to go ahead and jailbreak your phone or something like that in the future, then I would honestly probably recommend being on the lowest version of software you can possibly be on. That is going to be the smarter thing for the long-term person who wants to go ahead, like I mentioned before, and you know jailbreak your phone in the future or something like that. But I think for the most part, for everyone else out there, you're probably going to be set if you go ahead and you know have an iPhone 7 and update it to iOS 14.4.2, in my humble opinion. <laughs> if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.